Today we're going to learn what is SQL, what you can do with it, and how you can get started learning it right now for free. SQL, which can also be pronounced as SQL, is the easiest programming language out there because it only has about 30 commands total. You use the language of SQL to select information from databases. Then you can also use SQL to manipulate that data, so you can do things like take an average or display the data in a certain order. Can't Excel do this? Not exactly. Anyone can send around an Excel spreadsheet, but Excel can only hold so much data. If you want to access an entire database with basically unlimited data, you have to know SQL. If you're working in a company, a lot of Excel spreadsheets are created by data analysts who ran SQL on a database. So let's go look at what some SQL code actually looks like. This is a program called SQLite Studio where I've created my own database called BitDB and I've put a bunch of tables in it. So now we can go over to our query editor and say select from city bike lanes, which is one of the tables in my database. Let's see what happens when I run this query. I'm getting all of the rows and all of the columns in the table called city bike lanes. And this is what that looks like. So I can scroll through and see all the data there. I'm seeing that there's an ID of each bike lane, the year the bike lane was installed, the year it was updated, the street the bike lane is on, etc. On a job, you wouldn't select every row from an entire table because that could be millions of rows of data, but I can select all from this table because I created it and I know it only has 60 rows. So we have all this data about bike lanes in this table. One thing I'm noticing is a column called safety rating. So what if we want to see which bike lane has the worst safety rating? We can use SQL to do that. So we can go back to our SQL editor and run this code that says select the minimum safety rating from city bike lanes. And then we get the bike lane with the worst safety rating has a safety rating of two. Easy enough, right? So here's how you can start practicing SQL for free. I created my own free course that walks you through all my favorite online resources for learning SQL and Tableau, plus my recommended order to do them in, my resume template that you can edit yourself, my tips for making your LinkedIn stand out, and my salary negotiation tip. Check it out in my profile or just Google Charlotte Chase free course.